I started writing things. I used to just be in school writing. And then I just started rapping, rapping, rapping. My man Jimmy had this studio next door. We started up in there. And that's just how it went. Like 13, 14 years old, out here. I was 13, 12, really. When I was 12, Tupac, Tupac, the reason I started rapping, really. One of my guys, he had gave me a tape. I had popped the tape, and I used to listen to it when I get in the shower. The All Eyes on Me, actually, that's what it was. So that's what got me going. And a couple of influences, Jay-Z, Biggie, you know, people like that. Common, I like Kanye. But biggest influence, myself. You know what I'm saying? Got to be able to push yourself to do things. And that's what I wanted to do when I found out that I was real good at it. Well, right now, it's like, it's a lot of dancing going on. I know it was hip-hop dancing back in the day, break dancing and stuff, but it's like the whole thing changed. I'm not saying it's not good music, but it's more dancing than rapping now. It's more about your chorus instead of what you're saying. People not listening to what people saying anymore. They, they just want to dance in the club. Hit a chorus, chorus good, okay. But I'm talking about something actually, so I'm actually talking about the city, what's going on in the city, the police, the murder, everything that's going on, the drug selling, everything. So basically is is I feel like I rap like I should have came out of like 1993, 92. Like, I'm like kind of old school, but I got the new school flavor. But I'm rapping about old school things, which that's how I feel it should be right now. So, with that said, Erie Billing Entertainment gonna keep bringing classic music, which is the third mixtape, October something. It's gonna be called Happy Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Get more of that good music. And it's like that. It's just, it's, 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 it's not for Halloween, but it's the type of theme that I'm having is going to be like a Halloween, little spooky theme to it. You know what I'm saying? Talk, it, yeah. what can I say? What can I say? This one probably won't contain anything for the kids on it. That's, that's, that's what I can say about this one. So the second mixtape, which is right now, that's all business. That's the one that's out in the streets right now. People can come copy from me. I got them one dollar a piece. I've been giving them away free. That's what I've been doing with the first one too. I'm just trying to get my name out here. Build it up, you know what I'm saying? Got my label, Every Bellin Entertainment. We just trying to do a little bit. Well, the second mixtape is just me by myself, basically. The first one had a few features on it with a couple of my guys, you know what I'm saying? But the second one is just all me. I'm coming back. The people demanded it, so that's what's going on. Right now, I got it on the MySpace. I'm trying to load it up to a lot of other websites, trying to get it out here, you know what I'm saying? But MySpace.com slash cocky that man. That's the link you can type in, go ahead, listen to that good music. Got a couple of different diverse tracks on there. I got it was all a dream, money man, all type of stuff. Stuff about me on there. That's, that's, that's what's happening. People killing these kids, they need to stop it. That's. That's what they need to stop doing. They need to stop killing the kids and just stop killing the kids. My main focus, I love the kids. So rap right now, people need to just stop killing the kids. That's what they need to do. I mean, I like what they doing. I support everybody. I respect everybody craft and what they do. But that's not original, hip hop. Is, is dance music that's just what it is you a jerk and all this the chicken wings and chicken legs and all that stinky legs all that i like it it's good it's good for the kids to run around and sing but we also need some other type of music that people could actually listen to and be able to actually relate to like you know what i'm saying things that people do every day like no one wakes up and thinks about jerking or doing dances like it's, it's real life when you wake up. But how I feel about them guys is they doing their thing. I guess all that's all I can say. They doing their thing. I respect them for that. But 
I'm not here to dance and, and jerk and chicken wing and chicken leg and stinky leg or none of that. I'm not here for that. I haven't actually really experienced it, but me and my guy was actually talking about this yesterday. Like, it's a lot of hating going on, like, everywhere. If everyone could just get together and just be one and do it, then it'll come out way better. But it's like, he want to be better than him, and he want to be better than him. Can't nobody really, you can't put it together like that. You got to win a championship together. You can't win a championship by yourself. Mike brought these rings to this city with Scotty. He couldn't have did that by himself. So everybody got to play their part, play their role, and have something to do with the process. It depends on how you feel about the situation. Like, you could, you could, if you want to be underground, you could be underground. You want to be mainstream, you could be mainstream. It, it, it's about how much attention you want, really. Like, the underground people, they, they like... It's like a low-key scene like but when you mainstream it's like you want to be everywhere you want to be so you want people to see you so and then the way the records is the record sales is like it's crazy these days it's it's not so you won't sell anything not period like back in the day you could count a hundred thousand that'd be like a million right now so if you sell a hundred thousand now people real happy off of that like, 100,000 copies is good. So if you go gold these days, it's like you went double platinum or something. Like, you just hit the jackpot. But I'm not blaming nobody. It's technology. That's how it go. It's life. You know what I'm saying? Everything go advanced. And hopefully when I drop, I can sell records. I can get people to go to the store and buy my album. These days, you got to give away gimmicks and free tickets to concerts and things just to make people go buy your album. Back in the day, people used to really like music. They'll wake up and go to the store and buy it. These days, they don't. They wake up, go type it in on the internet and have it. YouTube, whatever, they have it. It's, 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 that's all I can say about that. <laughs>